AI women are women. No. 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 That would be a yes for me. No. Nope. Hmm. Oh my god. Now you get to swipe left. This guy is making AI fucking sex bots. He says the relationship between men and women is broken. The data shows that. Everyone knows it. The top 20% in the gene pool don't care. They're not caring is genetic warfare. All societal action taking against orifice, all protest, be in the form of tweet or article or legislation, will be gene warfare. Everything comes down to reproduction, and we're going to take non-reproductive sex with human women off the table as a commodity. It's gone. You can't trade money. This guy's crazy. I, I love this. Um, it, you can't trade money for it. You can't trade a meal for it. You could spend th uh, hours contemplating the consequences of that. Good. Bad. It's going to end crime. It's going to wipe out job functions. But why? Because sex is about reproduction, and everything breaks when you break that. Our roles don't make sense. Our institutions don't make sense. Nothing makes sense. When men stop seeking non-reproductive sex from human women, it's going to lead to an increase and reproductive sex and it's going to save the world man he's cooking now i don't know what he's cooking but he's cooking something this is going to destroy civilization this is terrible skynet would be a better death i completely disagree i don't think it's going to destroy civilization at all the fact that the first thing men do when given any form of new technology is to harm women is so insanely scary and realistic ai has single-handedly sent back women's rights and safety behind decades i hate all of you I wonder what this person means whenever they think that having a relationship with a computer is harming real women. Like, I, I just, like, I would love to sit down with a person like this and have them explain their thought process. Now, obviously, this wouldn't happen because they weren't thinking. But it's still crazy for me to see it. You're talking about deep fakes? Well, I mean, deep fakes are totally different than having an AI relationship with some sort of, like, fucking AI girl. I mean, I, I think nobody's supporting deep fakes with this kind of stuff, right? I mean, it has nothing to do with deep fakes. I think the reason why a lot of guys are supporting this, a very big reason, is that uh, it's like a power fantasy. Because right now, like from a guy's perspective, women have all of the control in dating. And there are guys that don't get a lot of dates. And guess what happens? Well, those guys are fucking upset about that. They're angry about it. And so now that they have like an app that they can just like have their own AI girlfriend, they're effectively outside of this rat race. And I also don't think that everybody needs to reproduce. If one dude can fuck five chicks, then you don't need the other four guys, right? I mean, let's just be honest here. So, and, and that's the way it used to be. That's the way it was for, I would say, the majority of history. So... I don't think this is going to destroy civilization or anything like that, but, uh, bro, what? No, it, it is. It's true. Uh, yeah, being honest. But there are, are AI models to flirt with, male AI, AI models? Well, yeah, I mean, of course, right? And so here's another one. Tech executive predicts AI girlfriends will create a $1 billion business. Comfort at the end of the day. Yep. Now... The only thing I think that's wrong about this is the fact that it's only going to be $1 billion. Oh my god, just talk to actual women. We're all horny and unhappy. Two, you're not special, you fucking weirdos. See, she doesn't... This girl... Look. She, she's trying to be nice. But the kind of guys that are downloading AI girlfriends... You don't want them to talk to you. Now, you think you do, but you don't. That, that This is not true at all. Yeah, you wouldn't get it, exactly. Like, yeah, it, it's this is only the case for attractive guys. Attractive guys that have interests and, you know, like, uh, I, I would say, like, are relatively, like, well-off, have themselves kind of put together. If you are an ugly dude and you, you know, your favorite game is Kingdom Come Deliverance and your favorite band is Sabaton, the dating pool for you is very, very narrow, okay? Like, and, and the main thing that you're interested in is, um... Oh, fuck. Um... Uh, medieval Warfare. 
Like, this is, there's just not a lot of, yeah, Warhammer. Yeah, you really like Warhammer. Uh, th there's not a lot of girls out there that are interested in that. Kingdom Come Deliverance is one of the best games ever. Yeah, and that's why a lot of my viewers, um, you know, send this stuff to me. Because they're the target audience for it. It's bullshit that comes to the line where every ancestor reproduced successfully since the beginning of life form. And you not having, uh, not having you is ending that line, literally failing at life. Well, there's a lot of people that don't reproduce, right? I mean, you couldn't have every single person always reproducing. So yeah, I'm not saying that like nobody should, but all I'm saying is that like, I mean, the reason why, you know, people say women and children first, the real reason is that you can repopulate a village with five dudes and 10 girls, but you can't do it with 10 dudes and five girls. And the reason for that is because of biology. Uh, Well-off men don't want women either. They started a trend on TikTok called drizzle drizzle no that's just like a, that's a meme right but uh either way yeah this is getting way more popular and i also think that this whole idea that oh just go talk to women this is absolutely not a good idea like if you're a weird guy the worst thing that you can do is go try to talk to a girl because you're gonna say something creepy and if you do it at work you're gonna get fired or something like that and and the real problem is that all of the conversations about like how to talk to somebody are it's like you you either have to, you have to hear it from a feminist who hates men because their dad was mean to them or you have to hear about it from a guy who you know pretends to be girl to pretends to be a girl in a webcam sex chat website that he made that he made girls sit on for 12 hours a day so like you have like basically two sides of the asylum who's giving advice on how to interact with people and I'm sorry, but like this really is not a very good, uh, a, a very good dichotomy. So how can I as a guy stop being weird talking to women? Well, because you're not like, talk to them like they're people. That's, that's the reason why. Just be normal. Yeah, exactly. But there's also like, here's another reality is that like, if you're a weird looking guy, the way that girls will perceive being like awkward is going to be totally different. And like there is a lot of truth to what people say about this it's like if you're a weird looking ugly guy and you act awkward girls are going to think that you're going to follow them to their car and kill them but if you're a good looking guy you're successful everything's fine and you're awkward in the same way they're not going to think that that's just the way it is and obviously when i say they every girl doesn't think the same but i'm saying this is a trend and if you're playing in terms of odds You've got to know where you stand. And so, yeah, anyway, a lot of people are upset about this, but I do think this will be the future. I think that a lot of people will start using uh, AI girlfriends and stuff like this. It's going to be way more fucking popular. I think it's going to be go, go crazy. Truly starting to think the entirety of tech is just a broken, a bunch of broken, emotionally stunted dudes inventing increasingly expensive ways to avoid actual therapy. Well, that's the thing is that isn't that a good thing, though? Because, like, if, if I'm a girl, I would rather that all of the creepy, weird guys that should be in therapy, I don't, like, I don't want to, you know, a girl shouldn't be, like, a therapist for, like, some weird guy. You know, just go over and do your AI girlfriend thing and do your own thing. Why are the girls upset at this, then? Girls are upset about this because they feel like it takes away their agency. I think that's probably the biggest reason. It takes away their agency and... Let me think of a better way to say that. And and they're also right. Like, to an extent, they, they are right that it does take away their agency. And, uh, you know, that's OnlyFans revenue. Yeah, maybe a little bit, right? And uh, look no further. Oh, boy. What is this? Here's your problem. You're alone. Nobody likes you. Some people like me. They really don't. <laughs> Introducing... I would watch this if the mic thing, the, like the headphone thing wasn't so weird. That's, that's really annoying. This thread got so much hate. If you talk to women, you're a creep. If you don't talk to them, you're a creep. If you find a replacement, you're a creep. If you try to be happy on your own, you're a creep. Women's rights. <laughs> this is, see, this is the problem with the discourse. This is the problem right here. It's like you had me in the first half, but then you say women's rights were a mistake. And it's like, oh God. Like, do we really have to go that far? I mean, Jesus. So yeah, this is Twitterverse, not real world. Well, a lot of guys feel this way. Yeah, I, I do think it's extremely common. Don't let them cook. Yeah, two extremes. That's it. 
And uh, if they rephrase it, yeah, you didn't, like, do we really have to have this part here? I mean, god damn. Let me see if there's anything else to look at with this. Let's see what they say. It's only a matter of time be before someone builds the next billion dollar dating app uh, that will pair real life users with artificial intelligence created girlfriends. And like, also, here's another... Here's something that illustrates the fact that this problem is real. The fact that every single one of these is made to make girlfriends and not boyfriends. Isn't that interesting? Think about that. Grun Eisenberg wrote a uh, blog post on X where he said he met a man in Miami who admitted that he spends $10,000 a month on AI girlfriends. Yeah, I've met plenty of crazy people. I mean, I don't need to write an article about it, but yeah, I, I've met people that do all kinds of crazy stuff for sure. I mean, like, yeah, this is this, that's a mental illness, but, you know, not necessarily something that's good. But the thing is that is that capitalizing on people's mental illnesses is incredibly profitable. That's why so many people do it. I thought he was kidding. Uh, Eisenberg wrote, how does it take away women's agency? You, you, I'm not telling you what it does. I'm telling you what people think it does. Like, you're not, why are you arguing with me? Uh, I thought he was kidding, but he's a 24, he's a 24 year old single guy who loves it. If he's 24 years old and he's able to spend $10,000 a month, um, you know, like that, that, that to me is pathetic in my opinion. It is. It's pathetic. What's the rest of this? The market cap. Oh, oh, here we go. Uh, Woody played with it. Miami man said, some people play video games. I play with AI girlfriends. And then here, it, is this it here? Can I, can I open this? Yeah, okay, thank God. All right, is any of this TOS? No, it's not. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's that simple. Some look real, but aren't. Maybe you two. Yeah, exactly. Of course, this is what he's going to do. Yeah, bro, you spent how much on gotcha? Yeah, but that's a tax write-off, bro. He's not writing this off as taxes, okay? Like, I, I don't want to hear about it. And uh, wrote what he's told by the man. I love that I could use voice notes now with my AI girlfriends. I get to customize them. Likes, dislikes, it's comfort at the end of the day. Oh, I bet it is. Holy shit. The ultimate AI girlfriend experience, which offers virtual companions and immersive and personal... You know what I should do? I should do a stream where I sign up for one of these. I really should. I think this is such a good idea. Why wait? Yeah, I think this is a great idea. I sign up and I have an AI girlfriend and I see exactly how far that you can get it. It's TOS? No, I bet you can... Pro There's probably an NSFW filter that you can have. Actually, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me correct myself. I bet the actual reality is that the NSFW filter is like a paid subscription. And so, like, it, it's not that you would accidentally see it because they're not going to give you that for free. You know, it's, uh, it, if I were them, that's what I would do, right? Uh, Match Group is first parent company of dating apps and uh, websites like Romance AI offer up virtual dating partners using technology that can mimic real life human interactions. Yeah, there's Replica was uh, very popular. Platforms such as Nami AI and Soulmate even encourage erotic role play, ERP. Oh boy. Uh, customers can customize AI uh, chatbots avatar traits depending on what they want, mentor, romantic partner, nature of the messages could resemble sexting. Yeah, of course it does. Man, a recent survey from InfoBip found that nearly 20% of Americans have flirted with chatbots. No, no. Where's the, where's it? Okay, so, uh, sorry, 20% of flirtatious wire, okay. InfoBip. Okay, I want to see this. Where's the, um, how many people were, were studied? No, I, I won't believe this. Survey ranks Americans top four reason for flirting with chatbots. Curiosity, loneliness. Okay, so, okay, so, like, loneliness and sex are the two that are, like, intentional, but, like, curiosity. Oh, I was just curious. No, you weren't. Um, 20, so 23 plus, uh, that's 35%. Okay, so 35% of 20% is like what seven a little bit less than seven so we're getting still like six percent of people and the odds are that most of them were guys so you're thinking about probably ten percent of guys oh wow that's a lot that's still a lot 
Yeah, I want to see what was how many people were were fucking looked at with this. It doesn't show. Fuck. Fuck, it doesn't show. The trend is particularly prevalent in those age 35 to 44, with over 50% of respondents in this age group admitting to have flirted with a chatbot. That's a really high percentage, guys. I didn't get polled. Yeah, it would have been 36%, right? And uh, yeah, holy shit, man. Well, there it is, guys. The chatbot overwards. Well, it's like if you're a guy. I, I think that if you're a guy, it makes a lot of sense to do something like this. It really does. And I, I think that it's so evident that this is a legitimate problem that guys are running into. Because there are so many, like, every single one of these are meant for for men. Like, I'm not seeing a lot of these AI chatbots that are for women. Almost every single one is marketed towards men. So I think that really definitely shows all you need to know about whether this problem is real or not. And I'm sure that there are girls that use it. Like, don't get me wrong. But the majority are guys. Women don't need it. Even the ugliest, most disabled woman in a wheelchair can get... Oh, my God. I, I don't know about that. I mean, that's a bit much. But, like, there's a lot of guys, right? It's, like, for me. Like, how many of you guys... Like, I never really had girls interested in me growing up, right? I didn't. Absolutely not. And it's, like, it wasn't really, like... I never had any girl really be that interested in me until I became a streamer. And so, like, what does that say? And there's a lot of guys that have had that same experience. And so, if you're in that position... AI chatbots, AI chatbots not looking too bad. You know? It's not looking too bad after all. I had a ton of girlfriends because I'm sexy. Okay, Nick. Okay, and Nick's in chat, yeah. Yeah, you were so wrong with it? Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying in general, right? And uh, me and I'm still not a streamer. Yeah, exactly. It's just more showing how men are struggling to keep expectations that women have for them. Well, I think that some some men, like, I mean, if the expectation is not to be a freak or a creep, there are some men that just don't meet that expectation even, right? I mean, like, let's be honest here. Uh, there's a lot of fucking freaks out there. It's like a lot of guys, it's like, oh, well, you know, women don't like me and they think I'm weird. And like you look at their their fucking phone background and it's a nine year old anime girl in a bikini. You know what I mean? Uh, what, what, what are we really talking about here? She's a 900-year-old dragon. Yeah, exactly. And I'm sure that there's like, you know, three girls that would buy that, right? Um, but it it's just weird. And so I don't see a problem here. AI just provides a solution for it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think this is what's going to happen. And it's going to become more and more common, guys. It's going to be... Uh, this is going to be the future. AI girlfriends. Guys want weird AI. They do. Guys absolutely want this. I think if they add this and this becomes popular, I think this is a... I'm not even kidding you. This is a trillion dollar industry. It's so big. Like, it's bigger than, like, almost any industry in the entire world. Like, this isn't a billion dollars. This is a trillion dollar industry. What do they need to do to get it right? Um... I think they just need to make the characters look better and more believable and then have like more interesting dialogue options and then people will start doing it. That's kind of what I'm expecting. It's already happening in China for both genders. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, men's loneliness is such a big problem nowadays. It's sad. Uh, before that, guys were going to Southeast Asia to seek attention from girls. I don't know which one is better. I guess AI girls because it's not exploiting poor girls. I mean, if a guy goes to, like, uh, the Philippines and he gets a girlfriend and he's nice to her and she doesn't have to live in the mud hut anymore with her family, I personally think this is kind of a win-win situation. I, I, I'm not saying you should do it, but I'm saying, like, this isn't really exploiting anybody. I feel like this is a W for everybody. So, yeah. Who's exploiting who? Yeah. What's wrong with mud huts? Well, I mean, like, they don't have AC in a lot of cases. They don't have internet. Absolutely. Makes the Westerners mad. Well, I don't know if it makes Westerners mad. I'm just saying I don't think it's really a problem, right? I'm going and doing that. Oh, my God. Okay. 
Um, anyway, yeah, there's also a lot of like WoW stuff that I wanted to talk about too. And uh, I, I do think that I am going to do like an, a stream where I get an AI girlfriend. I think this is a really, really, really good idea.